There is a story that I love to tell. It's about a lobster. And imagine the lobster in water, and then I come over, and I stand on the lobster. And even with all my weight, I don't hurt the lobster at all because of its thick shell. But the shell that protects the lobster also confines and even in time imprisons the lobster. In order for the lobster to grow, it must shed its shell. Underneath, there is really no protection. There is just a thin pink membrane, pretty much the consistency of wet tissue paper. And yet the lobster, every time, will seek to become better, to grow, rather than to remain the same. It will seek change. And how much different the lobster is than humans, because many times when change comes into our lives, we don't want it at all. We want things to remain the same even if they're not working for us. It is so true. People will prefer a a known hell to an unknown heaven. I ask you this week to really place your faith on the line and to greet change by saying yes to God's plan of divine order for your life. You will give thanks for change, for without it, you couldn't grow physically, intellectually, and you could not grow spiritually. You will welcome change because you know that it's a part of God's plan, God's plan of divine order for your life. For instance, the seasons change. Children, they grow up. And each day the tides ebb and flow. Without change, even love would be stagnant. For love is expansive, and expansion is change. Well, in the midst of change, you have great faith. You know one thing never changes, and that is God's love for you. Because God loves you unconditionally, you can face seeming setbacks and surprises with complete trust. You know that the blessings will be revealed to you in due time. Change, it urges you and all of humankind even higher toward a better way, a better understanding and a better world. Remember in the Bible, in Ecclesiastes, where it says this, For everything, there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. Well, today we say yes to a new and a better life. And even though it might seem strange at first to us, an unknown territory to us, we say yes, because we know that God is going ahead of us and preparing our way.